Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the principle of centrifugation and the Swedberg equation. Myself Srishma P V, Second M S C Biology, Saint Mary's College, Trishu. First, we can discuss about what is centrifugation. The centrifugation is a process used to separate or concentrate materials suspended in a liquid medium. The theoretical basis of this technique is the effect of gravity on particles, including all micromolecules. In suspension, the two particles of different masses will settle in a tube at different rates in response to gravity. The centrifugation is the separation technique commonly used in clinical and research laboratories. It is based on the behavior of particles in an applied centrifugal field. More dense, the components of the mixture move away from the axis of the centrifuge, while less dense, the components of the mixture move towards the axis. Then the major principle of the centrifugation is the particles which differ in density, size, or shape sediment at different rates in a centrifugal field. The particles will tend to sediment under the influence of gravity, and if the particles suspended in a liquid are so small or have a density so close to that of the liquid, then the force of gravity fails to sediment the particles into a separate layer. So the basis of the centrifugation techniques. is to exert a large force than the gravitational force to enhance the effective sedimentation force for the separation such particles from the liquid then the in centrifugation the particles are normally sun, suspended in a specific liquid medium held in tubes which are located in a rotor the rotor is positioned centrally on the drive shaft of the centrifuge then the particles which differ in density size shape can be separated since they sediment at different rates in the centrifugal field each particle sedimenting at the at a rate which is proportional to that applied centrifugal field then the sedimentation coefficient or the swedberg equation is the centrifugation separates particles in a suspension based on differences in size shape density that the together define their sedimentation coefficient This is also known as the Swedberg equation and is usually expressed in Swedberg unit s the ten raised to minus three seconds. This equation indicates the s depend upon the molecular weight, the density, and the frictional coefficient. Then the the rate at which. Then we have already discussed what is sedimentation coefficient. The rate at which the sedimentation occurs in centrifugation is expressed in terms of sedimentation coefficient and is given by the formula. The S is equal to V by omega square R, where the V is the sedimentation of the molecules and omega is the rotation of the rotor in radian per second or the angular velocity, or the R is the distance in centimeter from the center of the rotor. Then thank you for watching this video